Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining. So today I am so excited because I'm finally doing the July edition of my trying a new black owned indie brand every month for a year. So this is, like I said, July, second month. I still haven't done my like full review of Beauty Bakery, which is what I did for June. So if you wanna check that out, I, I guess I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but here's the thing. The air conditioning in our apartment broke um, the other day, right in the middle of a huge heat wave here. And it was like, 40 degrees Celsius in our apartment and maybe for some people that's you don't consider that very hot or you know you think it's manageable but for us Canadians it was a lot to deal with and I honestly just like laid on the couch and didn't touch anything and just like died for like the past whatever five days or something so I couldn't film, I couldn't really move, let alone film. Um, anyway, <laughs> so that's why there was no video on Sunday and also I haven't been able to wear makeup because of that so my testing out that I really want to like fully test that palette out and all the products out so I haven't had a chance to use it as much as I thought I would. Anyway, it's coming eventually, okay, it just, just stay tuned. Anyway. The reason that we're here, July, <laughs> I haven't filmed in a while, so I feel like my mind's all over the place, and also, I'm a little bit hungover, so. It's a judgment-free zone on this channel, okay? Anyway, <laughs> July, the Black Out and New brand that I am going to try this month is Colored Rain. I'm so excited. So I just have the Safari Rain palette here. Here's the thing, it, w this is limited edition. It launched a while ago, I can't even remember when it launched and then they restocked it so they brought it back. If I had to guess, I would guess that they're going to restock it again. Obviously don't quote me on that. However, I was very stressed out. I really, really wanted to get this palette. I've heard nothing but amazing things about it. And I was going to get other things from the website and then I was like, no, I just need to get this. So I just like quickly checked out and then I was thinking about it and I was like, does it make sense to like use limited edition palette that's sold out now? Maybe not, but welcome to my channel. <laughs> We're just gonna use it. Um, but I am so beyond excited. Like I said, I've heard nothing but absolutely amazing things about it. I also, I dug my finger into one of the shades, um, so it's a little bit messed up. So I have swatched one shade, but I haven't swatched all of them yet. And I'm going, I was planning on doing close-up swatches, but I was like, you know what? Why not let's just swatch it all together. So I'm going to start from this shade and work my way across in rows. Okay, so like I said, the first shade is the shade Toucan. And it's a beautiful, like, bronzy, orangey shimmer. And the next shade is the shade Clay. It's a matte, like, mustard tone. That was the worst swatch I've ever done. But you can, you can see the color. And then... The last shade in the top three shades is the shade Tigress. Oh, wow. And that's a beautiful, like, metallic coppery orange. The metallics in this palette are so beautiful. And the mattes feel really smooth, but I've only swatched one matte. The next shade is the shade Congo Basin. It's a, like, matte army green. There's a little bit of the shimmer shade in there, but you get the picture. The next shade is the shade Green Valley. It's a beautiful metallic, like moss green shade. 
the tones in this palette are so, so beautiful. It's exactly what I would want. And then we have the shade Jungle, which is, again, a horrible swatch. And this is like a deepened green with a little bit of blue. And then this is the shade that I unfortunately dug my finger in. This is the shade Lioness. And it's, ugh, oh, delicious. It's like a metallic, ugh, oh, burnished gold. Look at that. Stop focusing on my hand. Like, are you actually joking me? It's so good. Then we have the shade Amazon Basin, which is a metallic deep taupe. And these are not official shade descriptions. This is just my bullshit that I'm spewing. And then the last shade is the shade Matriarch. So this is just a deep matte brown. Again, horrible swatch, but you get the idea of the shade. And this is swatches of the palette, just like preliminary. I just really wanted to swatch it out because I haven't swatched it yet and it just looks so beautiful. The color story of this palette is just honestly perfection to me. It has a grungy mustard, a grungy brown, a green, and then you have a really deep brown that it seems to me, just by looking at it, um, deep and neutral toned enough that you can use it with both the greens and the orangey mustard tone. Like it works very well with the palette. It's not overly warm or overly cool toned. Like it, it seems very cohesive. Okay. I've now zoomed you in and we can get to what we've honestly all been waiting for is the eyeshadow. So I'm going to start uh, in my crease with this shade Clay. It's like that mustard, beautiful mustard shade and I've never tried Color Brain eyeshadows. Obviously I've never tried this brand before and I'm, ugh, I'm so excited. Okay. I'm just going to put that in my crease, basically as a transition shade. And I have primed my eyes with my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and set my lids as usual. So far it's blending out really well. I have, I'm going into this with pretty high expectations, I'm not going to lie because like I've said a million and five times so far, I have heard nothing but good things about Color Rain eyeshadow, particularly this palette. And this one shade <laughs> so far is blending out really beautifully. And I just, uh, I just love the tones in here. I think they're just so, so beautiful and so perfect to me in terms of like my favorite eyeshadow tones. Okay, so now that we've blended that into the crease, I'm going to take the shade Congo Basin. It's this matte like army green and I'm going to blend that on my outer corners and my crease as well. Okay, so that was maybe a little bit more lightly pigmented than, or not lightly pigmented, just lighter in tone than I expected, but I was able to build it up pretty well on this eye and it's blending pretty well into like the mustard shade. So far the mattes feel really smooth. I mean, the two shades that I've used have blended out well so far. There's not a ton of patchiness or anything like that. I mean, obviously this is strictly a first impressions. This is not like a review by any means, but from the way that they feel swatched and the way that they are applying on my eyes, very nice. And I'm not going to lie, I really wanted to try this palette out because their Power Collection palette just, at first I was like, oh, you know, it's a palette of purples, you know, I love purples, it's pretty, but like I don't feel like I really need it, you know, especially with all the palettes I have, whatever. And then I was watching other people's videos on it. I mean, I know it came out a while ago, 
and I was watching Kelsey Brianna J's video. I was watching back some of her old videos and I watched her video on the power palette. And they it just looks so beautiful. Like all the shimmers look like they have such a beautiful like duochrome shift to them and really made me want to buy it. And I'm not going to lie, I almost bought it and then I was like maybe Laura maybe you should try the palette that you have first see if you like it I don't know before you buy another palette hmm there's a thought and now I'm going to take a totally clean brush and blend the very edges out and then I'm going to take the shade matriarch which is this deep rich brown and I'm going to put that in my outer corner and my crease as well. And this brown is beautiful. It's just blending out super well. It's really pigmented, easy to blend so far. And like I was saying before, it's like the perfect tone for blending into greens or just like colorful shades in general because it's not super warm toned um it's very neutral and it's not super super cool toned either so it plays into the mustard tones and the green super well the color scheme just seems very intentional and well thought out and i i always appreciate that in a palette and now I'm just taking the brush that I used for Congo Basin and I'm just blending out the Matriarch shade with no additional product though. And I'm just going to go over the edges with a totally clean brush one more time. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly hop off camera. I'm going to cut my crease and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I've cut my crease and now I'm going to go into the shade Congo Basin, the green. This is just the steps that I normally do. I'm going to just go back around uh, the concealer and then I'm also going to put this on my lid just to merge the shadow and the concealer a little bit and I'm going to go into the shade matriarch the deep brown and do the same thing and then also deep in the outer corner just a little Okay, so now we're gonna go into some of the shimmer. So I actually wasn't intending on doing this, but once I swatched it, I knew I had to use it. I'm going to use the shade Green Valley. It's the metallic green. And I'm going to take that on a little flat brush. I'm gonna spray it. And then I'm going to put that in the middle of my lid. And I honestly feel like these shades probably wouldn't need to be wet, um, just based on like how foiled they are right out the gate, just from swatching them. It's just that I, like I said before, I always swatch all my, I always wet all my metallics pretty much across the board, no matter what formula it is. So I just feel like it's only fair to wet these shadows when I'm first trying them, just to give them a fair shot compared to all the other shadows that I work with normally. And now I'm going to take the shade Lioness. It's this beautiful, like, antique gold color. And I'm going to wet that also and put that on the inner third. Again, just disgustingly beautiful. That's just so bright and metallic. Oh, you guys, you guys. And then on the other side of that flat brush, I'm gonna go back into Green Valley just a little and merge the two shades together. And then I'm going to go back into Congo Basin and just tap that over the edge of Green Valley. And then I'm going to take Green Valley on my finger and tap that over. Doesn't need it, but I just can't get enough. 
And then I'm going to take Lioness again. Tap that over. Again, doesn't need it. Lioness particularly feels super creamy. Very, it almost feels like a cream shadow. It's super, super soft and dense and creamy and delicious and it applies so nicely. Now I'm going to go back into the shade clay, not a ton. I'm just going to go over the edge of the shadow just to get some of that mustard tone back. Now moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Congo Basin again, put that all along my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the other side of the brush and blend the Congo Basin shade out. And now I'm going to take a small brush into the shade Matriarch. So again, the deep brown that we used and put that on my lower lash line closer to my lashes. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and uh, just a touch of the Matriarch shade and blend it into the green. And then I'm going to go back into the shade Clay and blend the very edges of my lower lash line out. Also just to get that mustard tone that we have on the upper eyelid on the lower lash line as well. There's honestly few things I love more than blending shadow out with a mustard color. I just love. I love grungy greens and I love mustard so this palette is perfect for me. And because I just really want to use another shade if I'm honest. I'm going to take the shade Toucan. It's right here. It's the gold, like bronzy gold. And I'm going to take that, wet it, just like give it one spray. And I'm going to put that right on my lower lash line on like the inner part of my lower lash line. And I'm going to take a little bit of that on my pinky and intensify it even more. Okay, so there's not really a shade that's going to work for me for like inner corner and brow bone highlight. So I'm just going to take my face highlighter. Today I'm wearing the Milk Flex Highlighter in the shade Lit. Milk is a brand that I don't see myself buying from for a little while anyway. But I have it, so I'm going to use it. And I really don't mind using my face highlighter on my inner corner, my brow bone, if a palette doesn't have a shade that, for me, is light enough. I don't personally have an issue with that. And I would also rather palettes have more shades that I can play with rather than including like a really light color for me to use as like a brow bone inner corner highlight. Personal preference, but that's just my opinion. So I'm going to do liner and lashes and lips probably, and I will come back and wrap the video up. Okay, so lashes, lips, liner is on. I put a little bit of black in my outer corner. I usually do that. Um, if you're wondering, on my lips is the L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Lip Liner in the shade 114 Matting Call. L'Oreal is another brand that I'm going on pause on. And then I also have the ColourPop Crumb Lipstick in the shade What's Your Sign. Again, ColourPop I'm taking a pause on. So let's focus on what we came here for, which is the palette. Surprise, surprise. I love the way my eyeshadow turned out. I think this is such a beautiful, just beautiful palette. The tones in here are just, to me, like I've said before, absolute and utter perfection. You have a mustard, you have a grungy army green, you have this really beautiful, like, blue toned, deeper blue toned green. This. Matriarch shade is a beautiful deep neutral brown that works really really well with the rest of the palette. The metallics absolutely stunning. They're so smooth, 
so creamy. I am going to definitely look out to see if they crease because they are very like emollient feeling. They're very creamy and a little bit thick. Um, but I don't think that they really like emphasize that much texture. Obviously they're metallics. They're going to emphasize a little bit of texture, but compared to other um, like metallic shadows that I've used so far, they don't seem to be like making my eyelids look too much like ball sacks, you know what I mean? Um, and overall, I'm just super, super happy. Unfortunately, this was limited edition, um, but <laughs> if you're looking to like see the what the formula of color, colored rain shadows are like, I think they're 10 out of 10. I will try the, this palette out uh, more fully and give a full, full review that likely no one will watch because this was a limited edition release, but I really, really hope that they bring it back at some point. I Honestly, I think they will, um, but you never know. The packaging is beautiful. It's like a perfect size for a palette as well, I feel. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly might even just go and order that power palette because this is such a good palette. I'm so, so happy with this. And if you were looking at purchasing Colored Rain, based on the performance of this so far, based on my first impressions, I would say it's definitely a brand, definitely a brand to check out. I'm so impressed. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching if you made it all the way to the end, which likely you didn't, but hey, <laughs> that's okay too. Um, and I will see you all next time. Bye!